Welcome back to The Witcher, everyone. We are here with Vesemir, and we're, um, I think, now trying to finally slay, slay that griffin that is terrorizing the whole village, or the whole area here. So let us see. Stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on, we can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. All right, it's on. Griffin is going for our bait. It's close. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. A witcher with a crossbow? We breaking with tradition? Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. <laughs> I think we're still gonna use the sword for this one. Just because. Watch out. Let's go for it. Ah, oh, shit. It's about to dive! God damn. Finally, you dodge. Done that a little earlier. I'm about to die. Um, any healing? Can do. You can just do the telekinetic. Oh, oh, or just die. That works. <laughs> All right. In the beginning, it wouldn't dodge, which is really, what the hell. Are you doing? Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, we know. We we get a crossbow. All right, whatever. Let's move on. Watch out! There you go. Let's select this one. It's about to die. Hard to slay. <laughs> ah, Dusk attacking. Wanted it. Wait, stop. Watch All out! Right. This is shoot a crossbow. It's 
about to dive. Uh, how the fuck do you use this thing? How the fuck do you use it? God, this is embarrassing and at most annoying. I don't know how to use that goddamn bow. Watch out! Yes, use the fucking bow. Where are you coming from? It's about to dive! Ah, <laughs> oh, God. God, this is fucking annoying as hell. Would you hit? Damn! Alright, that kinda worked. To an extent. Still halfway dead already. <laughs> that was close. Um, see where the griffin is now that we finally got to a point where we actually we damaged him a bit 
and yeah, we are, we need to regenerate some of um, our vitality or our life before we we go into the next round of fighting. Like no doubt about that. So let's do that. Eat some uh, potatoes. And am I using the right? Yeah, I'm using the silver sword. All right, one more potato. Otherwise, we'll literally die in a hit. Um, let's just walk up to him. Alright, come back. God damn it! Sigh. Do you have to start all over again? I think we do. No, we don't. Alright, let's go. After the griffin. This time, hopefully not, just dying immediately. See, so yeah, I have to be much more um, careful, actually. Um, around him. Like, I have to, like... Ideally, when he crashes down, immediately go in and attack him once or twice and then go back. And yeah, the open area certainly helps a lot because I can dodge around a lot. But yeah, it's annoying. He basically has a roundabout um, attack that just um, will hurt me no matter where I stand. So let's just see if we can... Hit him from here. Did I hit him? Let's see if I hit him. And again. I don't think he's doing a lot of damage though. Alright, so the, I think the key is just hitting him while he's trying to come down here, so he should crash. Come down here. Oh, and it's, it's really hard to aim with the gamepad. Alright, I think we'll just wait until he tries to dive again. And then we'll just attack. And get out when he tries to attack. Alright, do you care to actually attack him? That would be nice. Again. Didn't hit him this time. Was he flying away? I don't think so. He's probably just going around. Oh, okay, in this, in this direction. Alright, this time. Oh, I didn't hit him. God damn. Oh yeah, we killed the griffin. Holy crap. Yeah, I still have to get used to the fighting system here. 
<laughs> After dying three times. Not bad. Not bad. Though you could stand to improve some things. Yes. <laughs> Learn the urn. man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher. Unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the griffin's head to the black ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. All right, that was a very interesting fight. Now that I finally kind of figure out how to fight, it actually is easier now and, and it makes sense. Let's take that head off and bring it to um, the guy at the, at the guard tower. And on the way, I remember we slayed the wolves that protect a treasure or something. So we should check that one out now. We already did the work. You found a mutagen. Use it to enhance your abilities or create a special potion called mutagen decoction. Let's see. What mutagen did we get? Is it in here? Tawny Owl. It's a potion. What does it do? Toxicity. Alright. Let's see here. Hmm. I wonder where we got it. Griffin's Egg. So the, the Griffin's Egg and Griffin Feathers are magic items that I can use. Oh, Griffin Mutigan. Can be used to enhance abilities or create mutigan decoctions. 50 vitality. Nice. That's great. Alright. So let's, I guess, ride towards the, the tower where we have to go. And then um, go to the captain of, of the of the watch here. Or, you know, whatever it is. And uh, see if he knows what happened to Yennefer. Or where she went, so we can go after her after all. Um, but let's bring up the map real quick, quick. Where are we and where we have to go? So we have to go all the way back up here. So I think we turn around uh, right to the bridge and just follow the road. Which work the best. Oh, come on. Just keep riding. I'm not gonna ride into the water. I'm not gonna be that mean. I think... Can, can horses swim? I think they do. So, you could just let be like, hey, um... Who needs bridges? Just go ahead. And... What are those? Oh, shit. <laughs> those are enemies. So let's grab our silver sword. And slice them into pieces. How about that? Ah, oh, come on, get the. Ah, oh, this fucking sucks. Oh my god! Oh, please tell me you saved after the griffin fight. Otherwise I would be... very... sad. What, take the trophy from the griffin's corpse and the corpse is gone. Or is it? No, it's here. Alright, wow, thank god. Let us just save here just in case yeah I still have to work on my fighting skills and what is the uh, the are they called signs again it's I think um, yeah it's the lower all right let's go back to that bridge and, and try that again, because I most certainly want to slice those guys into pieces. We were actually pretty close, but like two stupid things happened. Like, 
A, the horse just running into the water and being a total dick. And then um, we also got stuck again, which is extremely annoying. And yeah, let's just attack them. Oh, fuck you, horse. Like, seriously, fuck you. Uh, navigating, like, with the horse and then attacking while it's sprinting, it's like four buttons you have to press and your controller's like, I do not give a crap about what do you want to do here. Shut up, horse. That's the right side. Ah, oh, God. Like, seriously, comet on a horse is just annoying. Come here, buddy. Alright, one down, one more to go, and they don't even give me loot. So I think I saw one over there as well. Oh, he's over there, yeah. Let's see, what is this? Loot. Timerian Lily Key. Alright. Now I'm gonna lock. See, the thing is, I can't lock onto that guy now. It's just like, what the fuck were you guys thinking? No, I can. Alright. One less. Drown a tongue master item. Nice, so we at least got something out of this fight. And dying once. So speaking of, let's just save again. Just in case I succumb to an enemy again because I do not know how to fight. But yeah, fighting off a horse is, is very annoying to do because you have to press two buttons and then it kind of doesn't know. Otherwise you w will stop sprinting it, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose of being on a horse. Because it would just like slowly walk by the enemy and be like, yeah, don't bother me while I take one swing. That's ridiculous. Alright, so there is a treasure somewhere here that we already should have... We already took care of all the... the wolves that were around here. Let's take a look at what we have here. There's some loot. Coal and leather scraps. Luna shards. Horsehide. So there's a lot of crafting material materials, I think, that we can use. Leather straps. Anything else that we can do? Oh, this is something we can loot. Optima Mater, magic item. Nice! That was totally worth it, coming back here. And what is this here? Like the green dust. <coughs> Gas clouds in swampy areas are poisonous. Watch out. Well, yeah, that's no, not. Walk in there. Oh, nice. So they're uh, flammable too. So that's good for, I guess, setting traps and such things. Alright, there are more of those guys. Yeah, there, there are two again. Last time that was a little bit of a problem. But YOLO, let's do it. Let's use uh, the crossbow for the first one. Oh, they're three. Never mind. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I think it didn't take tam damage because those were normal bolts and not um, silver bolts. Pretty sure that it has like a similar mechanic. All right, never mind then. Let's just keep going and find out uh, what Yennefer was doing here, Let's go. and hopefully where she went. He was just coughing out a big cast cloud himself. So I guess it's not the best idea to stay a long time in those swamps. Oh my god, please. Just 
just go up there. Just go up the stairs. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm not the best at using the controller for this game. What the hell is this? Why? You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! He's not that nice after all. It seems. What? Yeah, no more Captain Nice Guy. You've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tja, a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Um, of course we take the coin. What question is that? I mean, if he's if he's offering the coin, I will obviously take it. Um, you know, if, if I would have to steal it or whatever, you know, that's different. Or you know, it would be taken from the dude that didn't deliver the the. The, um, Are you here to spy or haggle? Deliver the goods. Show me what you're peddling. Then it would be different. But I mean, he obviously has the money and he should just give it to me. All right, this one has seven more damage. So a silver sword with more damage, which will probably be useful too. And all the other swords are much worse. But yeah, I would like to have um, an upgrade to my sword. And I think it sell this one. Oh, so it immediately sells and then I just take this sword. Oh, and he can repair things. Nice. So I might just repair my, my good sword. And I probably will upgrade my my armor soon, so I don't I don't worry about that. But first so let's switch the sword and, and sell our old sword that we're now no longer using. Nice. So two blue swords, and that sell the old sword. Are you here to spy? Let me Show see me what you got. Link. All right, take this sword and give me money for it. Did I? Yeah, probably not a lot of money, just because um, it's not worth a lot. All right, let's see if we can craft, can craft something. something for me. Um, what could we craft? Or more important, like what what do we want in the end? So I think we need more. Oh, we can dismantle things. Nice. So I think what we have to do is, uh, for example, in the shop, buy some blueprints. And I don't think he has any. Not as far as I can see, at least. And then come back to him and, and craft him here. 
or at least the ingredients. So long. All right, but we have a bunch of interesting other side quests left that uh, are around this area. So let us take a look. So we have someone missing in action. Um, the Dose of Swallow Potion is actually an interesting one because I'm sure we can learn more about alchemy here on, or crafting in general. Um, I think the most ridiculous one is the frying pan and that's what we're gonna go after. <laughs> we're gonna make sure that the old lady gets her frying pan back because it is essential Ooh, to her life. So let's make sure. Oh, we can talk to him. So I want to make sure she has her very important frying pan back. Let's call for our horse. Come here. Yeah, get on here. No. Thank you for coming down. <laughs> or not. So we just keep the griffin hanging on the side so everybody knows we did it. I guess. Everybody in the village is going to be like, oh my god, can we give you free things, please? And I'm like, yes, please. Give me all the free things you have. Let's ride back here. And see who we encounter. Maybe we find more of those um, people that live... Oh, crap. That live in the the ocean or at least near it in the swamps and can fight them not necessarily for the for the ingredients they have hey there I'll just talk to him maybe he has a quest can I can I not talk to him or is it just let's see Oh, it just doesn't talk to me. All right, that works as well. <clears throat> Let's continue our journey to the frying pan. And something is down here, and I just saw another enemy. Whoa. Um, I can pop up. Oh, they they might be in the water. And there's something down there that we can take a look at. So let's do that after we save, just to be sure uh, we don't immediately die. To whatever's in the water. Yeah, it is here. Let's just dive down. Oh, I think we found one of those uh, diagrams I was uh, trying to find before, which is great. Well, go back up again. How do you do that? Huh? This is up? No. There you go. <laughs> would be a shame if I would die just because I pressed the wrong button. Because there was one um, item. And I don't know what this is. There's something in the surrounding here. Oh, there, there's more loot. It probably um, says that. Come on, go down. There you go. All right, we... We, I think, acquired a new quest. Let's see. Frying pan... On death's bat? No. It's an action. I think we already, um... Oh, it's a treasure hunt. Read the document you found. All right, I will do this. 
And let's see what we found. Is it this? Blood-soaked military orders. To whom it may concern, by order of the Legion Commander. The men bearing this missive are to be escorted north to the border post near Oxenford, where they will find Redanian division waiting for them. As noble-born Temerians, they are under special protection, and are the hair on their heads is to be harmed. Everything, is carry, everything they carry is their own private property and is to remain in their possession. Any failure to heed this order will be punished in an accelerated military tribunal. But I don't think that was the treasure hunt thing we were supposed to read. Then again, those were the quest items. So let's see if that actually was part of the quest of the treasure hunt. Read the document you found. Why does it tell you to tell us to go somewhere? Okay, let's just go back and see. And see where it wants us to go to. Just to check out the the last location. Come on, get up. Get on that horse. Thank you. So let's just see, just follow the the road. And then we should come to a house that apparently has a note we can read. Oh no, this is already the lost. There should be some some treasure where we're going right now. And actually where we fought, fought the griffin. Oh, there's a deserter. Question is like level seven, is that too much for us? And should I try again with um Oh, there are more of them. Oh, God. Oh, some people are actually shooting at me. Ah, too early. Damn it. Alright, that hit. So it uh, actually slows down time when you're like close enough to make the hit, which is kind of okay, neat. Bastard. Nice. So okay, now now the mechanic is much better. Um, I like this one more because I think it actually stays in uh, in a running mode once you actually engage into. Um, the mode where you draw your sword and actually try to hit someone with it. And... Oh, damn it, missed it. <laughs> yeah, he just in the, in the right second actually turned around and switched the side. Oh, <laughs> that was an interesting movement. But yeah, he just in, just in time turned around to... Um... Oh, he missed. Damn. All right, it's wide, right a little wider this time. Oh, but he hit me with the crossbow. But apparently that wasn't that bad. And we sliced him into pieces and we can jump here. But so far three down, two to go. I'd say that went exceptionally well, well considering how bad I was at combat before. Nice. And one more time. Ah, oh, that missed. All right, it's so unlock. Yeah, I, I read that actually locking onto enemies when you're fighting multiple en enemies is not the best thing, as it limits your ability to 
But basically, it always keeps the camera on that one enemy. So it's good if you actually only have one enemy left. Oh, I missed that one. Damn it. But yeah, see, it kind of like, I always look at the direction of the enemy. Which is not necessarily the best thing. Nice! That was a really great combat. I really enjoyed that, actually. Um, doing a lot of damage on the horse. Um, yeah, I, I really like that. It was... I kind of get the hang of the, the system, like how the battle works, I think, now. So it's much more fun. Still struggling a little bit with um, the two joysticks controlling the camera and the way, like the direction where I walk. But I'm getting there. All right. So I think we found a bunch of weapons too. So a hatchet. We oh, we can only use it level four. Steel sword, which is worse. A small buckjack, which also requires level four. And long swords that are worse. So we can just resell those items for money. And then uh, maybe use them for crafting. Oh yeah, let's find. Let's see what um, blueprint we actually found. And if this letter, brother missing, and the contract right. So we will look into the other side quests as well before we head out to uh, go after Yennefer. But where is that blueprint? Does it even show as an item? I just try to find that one so we can so we can see what we're actually able to craft if we get the items. And I can't seem to see it here. Anyhow, let's go to what looked like a camp of the deserters. Maybe there's something near the campfire uh, that we can loot as well. Yes, there is more um more got more uh weapons a gauntlet silver and uh more alchemy ingredients and in the back there's goat hide nice so actually i don't know if i have bracers i have gloves so these are better they give me one armor resistance to bludgeoning damage and resistance to slashing damage nice both two percent and okay this one is slashing and elemental but i don't think it makes too much of a difference right now so let's actually switch them out because they're just that tiny bit better anything else here we can go into that building so i think we do that after we save just because and i have to um Two saving slots, which I will delete the second one that I accidentally created. And let's check what's in here. Looks like an abandoned house. Um, my Witcher senses do not detect anything. Some objects can be destroyed. Such objects are marked with, uh, looks like a, an iron icon. To destroy objects, to open up a path, face them and cast the R sign. You can also try hacking at them with your sword, but note that not everything can be destroyed in this manner. Another option is to toss a grape shot bomb at the object, but be careful not to get hurt by the explosion. Interesting, so what can we destroy? Oh, so there's something in the floor that we can destroy. Nice. Let's take a look at this. Is it art? Yes. Um, and let's just... Oh, nice. So we can jump down there. If we want. And see what's what's down there. Uh, let's just grab our sword just in case. And it looks like we... Um, oh, we have to do the same here. Oh, it's just treasures. Wow, this is amazing. There's so many things lying out down here. So I basically found like a... Okay, this one is red, so I do not know what the red one does. It might be trapped. 
unlocked. Hmm. Okay, so I do not know why this one was actually red. Maybe it was because it was a quest item. Scribble document. Tamarian Special Forces insignia. Some money and a silver teapot. In case we need uh, to make some tea in a very fancy teapot. Um, I want to take a look at the... Whoop. I want to take a look at the letter or like the scribble document we found. And it looks like we got also a bunch of um, upgrades to um, our equipment. That sword looked pretty nice. So let's take a look at what we found down here actually. This one is, oh, uh, it's, it's worse than the sword we have right now. It has plus 12 critical damage. And that was the wrong button. So ours is 4% critical damage, and this one has 12% critical hit chance. So crits with this sword are much more likely, 12% more likely, but this one, when we crit, we just do more damage. I do not know which one is better for me, considering how often I, I miss. Hmm, I just keep the one I have right now, just to be on the safe side. Seven armor, oh, that is nice. So, um, what we get? Plus 2% resistance to piercing damage, plus 2% resistance to bludgeoning damage, and plus four resistance to slashing damage. That's really good, and three more armor. Um, we lose every resistance to elemental damage, so anything that burns or is cold or something will hurt more. And the slashing damage is actually 1% better. And we gain resistance to piercing and bludgeoning damage. Nice. So let's put those on. And where are the notes we found? Scribble document. Can we read that one? Yes. Hey me. No wonder we're losing this war. With cowardly cunts for soldiers. All it took were a few arrows and a wallop of the mace for seasoning. And that was that. Battle was over. And the whole Conway was ours for the picking. Maybe they were having such a hard time of it because it all that vodka they were carrying. Our brave warriors must have taken a sip from time to time, with obvious results. When you're seeing double, it's damned hard to hit your target. Take everything we gathered to the cubby, then fence it quickly as you can. Except that showy parade shite. You'll have to bury or burn that. I reckon someone must recognize the insignia, and then there, there'd be trouble. So, there's a showy parade shite. So the question is, can we actually find this? Or is it just, you know, a letter that tells us that they bury it and we just found all the, the cool stuff, basically. But gl gra um, glad we actually looked in here. We completed another quest. And on that note, let's end this episode of The Witcher. Thank you so for so much for joining me on this journey and see you next time.